Hi, welcome to episode 33 of the JMAC Bootleg Gauntlet. Today we got Badminton. I don't have a good feeling about this, but let's find out what we are getting ourselves into. Badminton. Okay, that is definitely fancier than I was expecting. I hope I don't have to know anything about how to play uh, this place go. Um, oh, no. Oh gonna play against uh, Britain. And I guess I have to be Japan, and also I am just a set of triangles. Off to a great start. Yeah, this might be better if I could see my sprite. Or perhaps I'm just bad at badminton. I'm missing something, clearly. Oh. Committed to doing ten... ten minutes. Oh, mm, okay. This is going to be hell. <laughs> is that allowed? Am I allowed to be that bad at badminton? I can catch up. I can totally do this. What is even happening? Okay, good shot. Okay, we got a rally going now. Yo, okay. Mm, I keep trying to figure out what the B button does, and it's not doing anything for me. <laughs> oh, the patheticness. Like, is there any... When does it end? Can it end? Okay, apparently 11, po 11 points. Jesus. Cheese and a Christmas. Now I am the set of ugly polygons on the right. How do you like it? Okay. In case you, uh, you're having trouble, you can always tell who I am by the one who doesn't win... Like, it doesn't even seem like this computer has any holes in his gameplay. It doesn't feel like there's any amount of strategy to this. Is there a way for me to direct my shots, or... do something that's halfway good? Is there any way to get it so that he doesn't hit it right back? <sighs> Didn't quite have it lined up in time. This is very frustrating. I didn't know you could cheat! Okay, I'm trying to find the cheat button. It was not start. Start just pauses the game. Which I guess is good for when I don't feel like playing. I'm just running out the clock. I'm just gonna hang out here for 10 minutes and not play this game. I give it up. I don't give it up. I'm playing. I should definitely start talking about something that's not triangles uh, hitting a badminton back in each other. Is a birdie? It's a birdie. Sir, you dropped this. It's my dignity. Sorry for going silent, but I honestly want to win a point. <laughs> okay. Sounded like that was my time for a super shot, and I did not get it. Okay. The freaking agony of defeat! Alright, if I can't get a point by uh, the end of this set, I'm just gonna ignore this game and talk to you about I don't know what. Yep, yep, that's not good. Wearing my cheap pop shirt. There was a, uh, a wrestling show near me. Mm, I always forget to move back to the left where I'm more comfortable. There's a wrestling show near me called Let's Hang Out. Uh, it was kind of run by a local t-shirt company, which is interesting. Uh, and, uh, wait. Is it getting worse as I play? I think it's just getting worse. 
try to see if the boys are actually boys. Let's fight the filthy Americans. Nope! Still just a mess. So yeah, I went to a show called Let's Hang Out. It was a wrestling show slash rock show. And it was a, a very good time. It's the only uh, only wrestling show I've been to either outside of... Uh... Actually, that's not even true. But it was, a, it was interesting to have a wrestling show with that caliber of talent without it being videotaped for rebroadcast or sale. Not streamed, not nothing. If you weren't there... You weren't there. And it was a really good uh, wrestling show, but one of the bands that played was a, a loud, brash punk band called Cheap Pop, uh, which is a wrestling term for uh, when you say something that will give you a large crowd response and you don't really have to earn it. You know, coming out uh, into a concert and saying, you know, hello Cleveland. They're gonna, they're gonna scream because they're, they're Cleveland. They're excited that you're saying the name of their town, and you know that's a cheap pop. That was just, just sounded mean. Did, did I not even lose points on some of these? I am very confused about how the scoring of badminton works. Anyway, uh, so yeah, cheap pop was a very uh, loud band, because <laughs> they were all loud, because the sound system is set up for loud instead of clarity, which would not be the way I'd like it, but, you know, you gotta respect people who like uh, making their ears bleed and such. And uh, I got home, bought their album for like, I don't know, five bucks, something like that on uh, on Bandcamp. I don't remember if it actually cost five, five bucks, or if I just gave every band I bought from five bucks as like a thank you for playing that show, because it was great, and it might have been free. But yeah, go check out uh, Cheap Pop on Bandcamp. They did some amazing songs. Once I could actually hear the lyrics, they were great. And uh, still sing some of them in my head to this day. And I bought this cool shirt, which is cool. Definitely cooler than badminton. You know, slow tennis. For even richer people. Squeaking. Squeak. This game is impossible to succeed at. Just playing against a perfect opponent endlessly until you mess up. This is mortifying. Oh, now he has 11 points, but it's not over. I don't understand. Maybe whatever Coat 2 is, it's a, an even less satisfying game. Just had to check the timer, because it both feels like I've been playing for five minutes and like I've been playing for an hour and a half. And when I started storytelling, I completely lost track of time. We still got time left on the clock! This is terrible! I like all the ghosts in the crowd. 100% skulls. I also like that the referee appears to just be, like, a construction worker. Who is very proud of his work, and honestly, they should put a guardrail up on that thing. I don't feel like it's safe to be standing on a platform like that. I mean, if it's only, like, five or six feet high, it's high enough. Gotta think of that guy's safety. Funny thing is, if I got a point, I don't even know if I'd notice. Because I was so distracted by, uh, trying to... Talk about uh, the good band Cheap Pop. No! During intermission, uh, maybe it was either during intermission or after the uh, the wrestling portion of the show. I think it was during intermission. Uh, I actually talked to the band and up oh, to 15 points. Okay, what's the difference? Why? Yeah. And I talked to the uh, guitarist chiefly, I believe. Uh, female vocalist, great, great voice. Uh, the drummer had just gotten hurt, which, oops, so another drummer was there, but that drummer drummed well. Not exactly the kind of songs where you have to, uh, be the best drummer. You just gotta be able to hold the rhythm and play fast-ish fast and loud and hard, and the guy did a great job of that. You know, it's punk. It's punk. You don't have to be a good musician. 
And that's actually what the guy said, essentially. Because uh, I also kind of did a punk project called The Mad Libs with my brother-in-law, who was also at that show. And he, uh, you know, he said, like, oh yeah, we want to do a, uh, a political punk band called The Mad Libs, just because of the name. And he said, oh yeah, just, I recommend it to anybody. Just learn how to play an instrument just well enough, and, you know, the world's your oyster. And that's the thing, the, uh, my brother-in-law, Sean, he is a drummer by nature, and started teaching himself guitar and bass, and, oh, is that the time? It's time for me to leave. Uh, taught himself guitar and bass, and was able to do him well enough that he could do a, uh, he could do a punk album. And he was very happy to be able to write the parts, because he only would ever get to write drum parts, because he's a drummer. And it was extremely fulfilling for me, because I had a band that sounded like a band. So, that was fun. Uh, this was badminton? I'm sorry. Well, apparently it's my turn to throw the, the birdie, so it's never gonna happen! The game ends in a blur. Oh. <sighs> Hopefully whatever the game, whatever game we have next is less glitchy and you can make any amount of progress. I will see you then. Forgot to say like and subscribe, so I'll say it now. Like and subscribe if you like this junk! I don't know why you would, but I should stop being so down on myself. Believe in yourself, JM. You can do this. You like what you're doing. Stop saying you're bad. <sighs> see you next time. The J-Mac bootleg gauntlet. Come back for episode... Th 34!